In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can improve the performance of your website and secure it using an SSL certificate. I'm gonna show you how you can do all that for free. Let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So in this very quick video, well, I'm hoping it's gonna be quick, I'm gonna show you how we can improve the performance and secure our website using a free service uh, called Cloudflare. It's really easy to set up. All you gotta do is repoint your DNS um, server settings so that uh, your traffic goes through Cloudflare servers on its way to your website. So let's get on the computer and get it all set up. So the site I'm gonna be adding Cloudflare to in this video is this one, it's beershirts.co.uk. It's an Amazon affiliate site that I set up in a previous tutorial. It's just on um, HostGator hosting. I have done a bit of performance optimization on it. It's running, you know, caching plugin and, and that kind of stuff. Um, which by the way, I've got videos on, on all the stuff that I've just spoken about on how to set up a site like this and how to optimize it. I'll put links to those videos in the description. Might put them in a card as well. If we take a look at the speed of the site over at Google PageSpeed, it's pretty good. It's got a desktop speed of 92 and it's got a uh, mobile speed of 71. So it'd be interesting to see if Cloudflare is able to improve upon those scores. I mean, one of the main reasons I want to add Cloudflare is uh, for the SSL certificate, but yeah, performance boost is obviously uh, a, a bonus. So I've got Cloudflare open up here. I'll put a link to Cloudflare, but it's cloudflare.com. Now I've already started the sign up process. You'll need to just put your uh, email address and a password in there, click sign up. I'm gonna click login because I've already done that bit. I'm just going through the wizard now. So I need to add my website, which is beershirts.co.uk. And click scan DNS records. It says they're doing some scanning. Uh, it's showing me a little video. Oh, there we go, so that's all done. Let's click continue. So now it's asking us to verify that all of your DNS records are listed below. Generally, um, it will all be fine, so you can just click continue. We then now need to choose our plan. I'm gonna go for the free one, click continue. Now we need to update our name servers. Now these are set with your domain registrar. Mine are over at GoDaddy, so I'm gonna go over to GoDaddy. And you'll need to go over to your domain registrar or whoever manages your DNS. I say generally it's where your domain is um, registered. Okay, let's find the correct domain. It's obviously beer shirts. There it is. Then, yeah, I'm gonna be changing the DNS servers. So I'm going to manage DNS. So on your setup, look for some managed DNS settings or name server settings, something like that. Then I'm gonna click change. And then I'm gonna replace these two with these two. Copy and paste. Back again, copy and paste. Oop. Then save. So that's all done, the, the name servers are updated. We click continue. Now we just have to wait, and it could take a little while, possibly up to 24 hours, it says. So I'll do an edit now, uh, and once it's all done, we'll carry on. Okay, it only took a couple of hours, but um, the DNS change has all gone through, and it's showing green now within Cloudflare. So we should all be up and running. Um, let's go and take a look at the site. Now, in order to go to HTTPS, we may need to install a plugin. So let's just have a look. I'm gonna type in HTTPS up here to just see if the certificate's working. Oop, oh no, doesn't look like it. So yeah, we're gonna need a plugin. So let's just get rid of that S for a second. Go into the dashboard, um, plugins and add new. I'm just gonna do a search for SSL. Go for this one here. 
really simple SSL. Click install, then click activate. Pops up this message. I'm going to tick, uh, leave that ticked, and then click go ahead, activate SSL. And now let's go back to the site. E, there we go. We've got a nice green padlock. So that's the SSL working. Let's have a look at page speed. If you remember, we got a score of 71 earlier on mobile and 92 on desktop. Let's just see if that's uh, if we've got any improvement. Ah, so it's dropped a few points. Now I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that can happen with Google PageSpeed tools. It's just the way that it measures stuff. And when you're using a CDN or content delivery network like um, Cloudflare, you can lose a couple of points. Let's just test it over on Pingdom, which is another way of getting a score and see if we get a better score over there. So I think that's a Pingdom. Oof, I can type Pingdom. There it is, tools.pingdom. We just enter the URL. This also gives you a page, a Google PageSpeed score as well. So oh, it's a bit busy. It's going to take a few seconds. Here we go. So yeah, that's given us a score of 92, which is that's the Google PageSpeed uh, score. So that's you know perfect. It's loading really fast. It's faster than 94% of tested sites. I'm happy. I've got my free SSL as well. Let me know how you get on with your PageSpeed score once you switch to um, Cloudflare. That'd be interesting to know. But that's it. We're all done. Thanks for watching. Hope that all went well for you and you've got a secure website that's running a little bit faster. If you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Please leave them below in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, then click on the little eagle up there and be sure to click the bell to be notified when I do upload. And here is another video chosen specially for you. And here is my other channel, which is all about business and all kinds of cool stuff. Go check it out. Till next time, bye for now.